Metricool tutorial and review. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Metricool and I'm also going to be telling you whether or not it's worth it. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I'm over here onto their main site. And if you don't know what Metricool is, it is basically a social media manager that helps you manage all of your social media platforms. So you can manage all of your Google accounts, meta accounts, including Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well. And over here, as you can see, it does say create your account and you can, it is free to use, but there is a pricing plan, however. So over here, if we scroll down, you can see there are four pricing plans. There's the free, the starter, the advanced, and the custom. Now, in the free plan, you get management of all of your brand social media accounts. Uh, you can plan up to 50 pieces of content per month. You get analysis of five competitor profiles and creation of one LinkedIn bio through smart links and access to analytics with three months of historical data. And you can also utilize the AI social media assistant as well, which is pretty cool. Now, you also get one brand. So keep that in mind, as you can see over here. But in the starter plan, it costs you $18 per month from $22 per month with monthly payments. You get all of those in the previous plan, but you also get unlimited pieces of content, which is scheduled, by the way. You get LinkedIn connections, you get limited Twitter analytics, but you still get Twitter analytics and over 100 analysis of competitor profiles, downloadable reports, and you also get access to analytics with unlimited historical data. Whereas over here, you only get up to three months in this one you get unlimited and in the advance it starts at 45 dollars per month and you get all of those but you also get to manage all of your social media brands and unlimited pieces of content and you also get team and client access role management post approval system customizable templates and reports complete twitter analytics and connection to Looker Studio and Xavier integrations as well. And if you're wondering how many brands over here in the starter one, you get up to five brands for $18 per month with annual payments of $22. And if you want, you get up to 10 brands for $31 with the annual payment of $38 per month. So if you go with annually, you pay $31 for 10 brands. And if you pay monthly, you get 38. So as you can see right here, it says that as well. If you go with the standard five brands, whereas in the advanced, you can have up to 50 brands, 25, and the basic starts at 15 brands. So keep that in mind. And then you have custom where you can, you know, negotiate with whatever features you want, whatever price you want to pay. So now that we know how much it costs, let's go ahead and sign up. And if you want an even detailed report, you can scroll down over here. You can see all of the detailed reports that you want. So keep that in mind. So you can see over here, 10 in the starter, 15 in the advanced and custom. You can have even more in the custom profile. So let's go ahead and sign up for the free account. So we're going to click on sign up. And in this section, all you have to do is add in your email address and your password and you are good to go. Or if you want, you can continue with Facebook. And once you have done that, you just have to verify your email address and you can go ahead and open up and start using Metricool. And here we go. So as you can see right here, we have activated our account, account activated. Now we just have to go ahead and fill out this form. If you want to content creator, personal brand or influencer, marketing agency, whatever works for you. So I'll just choose that. Just me and click on continue. And I'll just select these two right here. You can select more if you want, but for now we'll go ahead and click on finish. And now you can go ahead and connect your account. So you can go ahead and connect your Instagram account, your TikTok account, your Twitter, your TikTok business, YouTube, and your Facebook account as well. So let's go ahead and connect some accounts. And you can connect this later as well, but since you're already here, might as well do it, right? So we're gonna connect our YouTube account. We're gonna click on the YouTube button. It's gonna open up, pop up right here. Sign in with your uh, Gmail account and you should be good to go. Click on continue. Boom, your account is now connected. Same with TikTok as well. So make sure you're logged into TikTok and Instagram as well. And let's go with TikTok business as well. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and log in into these accounts. So give me a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and connect our Instagram account as well. I've already done that. Now you do need to make sure that you connect a Facebook page to be able to connect to Instagram. And you need to make sure that your Instagram account is a professional or business creator. The Instagram is properly linked to Facebook page. All right. So to do that, if you come over here onto your profile, as you can see, I'm already, my account is already a professional account and it is already linked as well. So if I go ahead and click on the account center over here, we click on connected experiences 
Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and click on add account. Click on add Facebook account and log into our Facebook and connect the pages. And then we can go ahead and log in. Okay. So right now we are connecting our Facebook page. We are giving it access and I believe it should be done. Here we go. Yep. We'll select the page, select the page and we are good to go. Now, since our Instagram account isn't connected, we'll go ahead and do that as well. So to do that, we'll just simply go into the settings right here, go to professional account, go into the meta account center and over here, go ahead and click on add account, click on add Facebook account, click on continue and yep, we'll click on continue. Let's finish adding. We are now good to go. Give it a couple of seconds to load and I think it is now good. Yep. I think we are good. So now if we click on connect Instagram professional account, it hasn't been connected yet, but that's fine. Since we've already connected, we can connect it later again if it's not working right now. But yeah, once that's done, we just simply click on finish and we are good to go. Now that we have created an account, we've added a couple of accounts as well. We should be good to go. And as you can see over here, you can connect up to, I don't know how many accounts are, basically every other account that exists, like Pinterest, Google business profile, Twitch, Facebook ads, Google ads, Twitter, TikTok, TikTok ads, TikTok business, LinkedIn, all of that. So you can add a bunch of different accounts over here and you should be good to go. So comparing to other social media managers, I would say uh, Metrico provides a much more variety of accounts. You even have Twitch account over here. Most uh, social media managers don't have that, but it's cool to see it on Metrico. And over here, you can see all of your accounts that you have connected. So as you can see, currently we have one of one. Uh, if you want you can add more brands right here we only have one of one and here you can see the small facebook and youtube icon which indicates that we have connected it now at the top you have your main options such as analytics inbox planning smart links ads uh, if you click on analytics it will show you all of the analytics of your account that you've connected so over here you can see we'll save that ratio whatever it is and you can see all of your growth all of the uh, you know followers you've acquired likes views all of that right here and on the left hand side, you can see all of your applications that you have connected. So you can see you have web, Instagram, uh, threads, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube ads, all of them are connected right here. You can see all of them and you can search between them and see what it is. See all the analytics between them. Then you have your inbox over here. Here you will see all of the conversations that you have either on your Facebook or your uh, you know, YouTube account. You can sort them out by just simply clicking on the uh, icon. If you click on it, as you can see, it's gone black and white, which indicates that it is now turned off. And uh, if I click on the icon, it's now on. So you can see all of your unread and all of the other text messages right here. Then you have your planning. Here is where things get more exciting here is where you will actually go ahead and plan your social media posts so over here as you can see 12th of friday you can go ahead and create a post right here or you can schedule a post as well i don't think this plan offers scheduled posts and yeah it does offer planning which is schedule posts up to 50 pieces of content so you can schedule 50 posts right here and if you want you can just simply click on the date and time you want so for example uh let me just close this up uh, let's say over here at 4 a.m. on a Saturday, I just simply click on the time here. I can go ahead and create a post. So over here, I can select reel or a story, right? Or a post. And I can even select YouTube as well, which means I can go ahead and connect my YouTube account as well. And for YouTube, I can go ahead and post a short or a video. It depends on you. And of course, if you have Instagram, you can go ahead and add that over there as well. So over here, you just type in whatever you want here. You will get a little preview of that post and then you can click on schedule to schedule your post. So here you can see uh, sent to review. If you want your team to review it, you can do that as well. So this is very good. This is how you schedule posts in Metricool as well. Then you have smart links where you get to create your first smart link. So you can see all the creators have a link in bio option. So you click on it, they'll take you over here onto a smart link where they will show you all of their social media platforms and other websites that they have. So yeah. And then you have your ad section over here where you can run different ads. So over here, you can connect Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads to see how your ads are doing. It's just an all-in-one tool. And I think it's amazing. So if you want, you can go ahead and use it, check it out. And of course, as always, that is it for this video. That is how you use Metrical. And I think it is worth it. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, take care and goodbye.